I'm going to try and get this one to go first, so it's close enough to 3.30. So I'm not going to time it, I'm not going to rush, but I'll just take normal time and see how long it takes. Um, need that fixed, but that won't be too hard to do. And probably just a carburetor clean out. There was like that little clasp thing um, that stops it from getting pulled in. I don't know what it does. Well, I mean, it stops it from from disc being pulled all the way, but I took that off and now it recoils all the way back in. I'll take that cover off and oil it, but yeah, so that was pretty easy. So now I've just got to take the carburetor off and clean it up. Alright, I knew the fuel was, fuel was old, but I didn't know it was this old. I've never seen fuel this bad before. That's white paper. That's green fuel. Green. And this is a four stroke, so it's not like the um, and it's not like the petrol's evaporating and this have left behind oil. That's that's green. That's probably the worst I've ever seen petrol go. It smells like shit. And there's no way that you could light that on fire. Might yeah, you know, oh, there's no point demonstrating it, all you guys know that, but yeah, so this has been just sitting for ages. And now, once the air, the air compressor's pumped itself up, I took off the covers, and so now I'll just give it all a good clean out, making sure to cover up the two intake and the breather tube. Make sure it's all clean, because often um, leaves and stuff will get in the veins and it'll cause it to overheat. So I'll do that now. And it's not hooked up. I've just put the lawnmower back together and it's five past five, so that's about an hour and a half. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any petrol. Um, I've only got two stroke, don't have any four stroke fuel, straight fuel. So I will have to go up and get some, but I'll probably do that tomorrow because I'm not going to go out now. So that's an hour and a half to fix that. And yeah, so this is probably going to be my mower from now on because it's good, it's in good condition. Um, it's a four stroke, so probably going to use this one. Okay, I went and got fuel, as you can see, it's dark now. So I'll have to set the camera up somewhere so I can properly pull it. Hope that's pointing at it. Next on the fixed list is this um, Briggs and Stratton Massport Craftsman mower. Um, I forget how you tell the age of the mowers. I know it's something to do with the model, um, the model type code. I can't remember. I tried looking on one of David Farm's videos, but couldn't find it. And while I was watching the video, he said something which kind of pissed me off. He said that he's an expert and he can fix anything and make any lawnmower run and you know what, David's farm? So can I. You're not an expert. I'm. I don't claim to be an expert. I can pretty much make all of them run, so long as there's no catastrophic problems, like you know, seized piston or parts missing. You know, you're not an expert, so don't call yourself one. Anyway, that just pissed me off. Okay, so I'm gonna fix the pull start. It probably just needs a bit of an oil, and yeah. I'd just like to say, before any, everyone starts typing their hater comments towards me, I'm not a hater of David's farm. I like watching his videos, although I flick through the ones, like I skip ahead of the ones where he's mudding, because I don't really care about that. Um, it's just annoying when I read through the comments on his videos saying, Dave, you're so smart, and you know, all that kind of stuff, like, you know so much. Um, these small engines, there's not much to know about them, really. It's not like, it's not like a car. You know a lot about cars more than me. But I'm sure if a mechanic was watching David's farm videos, he'd have the same feeling. And that's why I think David's farm has haters because 
there are people who do know how to do stuff and David's farm claims that he's very smart and he's an expert on stuff. Um, I'm not a hater. I just have to say that I know there's other people out there who feel the same way. I know there's one other guy, I won't mention his name, but he watches my videos and we talked about that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so I'd just like to put that out there and think about that next time you're watching one of his videos and you read one, you read the comments and you type one of your own comments because I don't know what I was going to say. Anyway, anyway, you get the message. There's just a lot of young people out there who think he's extremely smart, but really, I mean, they just don't know much. <laughs> anyway, um, I've hit a bit of a wall here. It's Saturday night, and I can't really go to the shops and buy a fuel line because this fuel line here is thicker than what I use on Victor's. I'm going to try and heat some up and then put it on, but I don't think that'll work. So I'll probably have to just go and buy some proper Vic, um, Briggs and Stratton fuel line. Uh, I think it's going to have a slight problem with the kill switch mechanism, which is that one down there. It looks pretty worn away to me. Um, I don't know if I can fix that or something, I don't know. But I'll work something out. I always do. So, and also this thing, it goes back in, I don't have the cutter on it, it doesn't go in where it's like out, you have to sort of, what's happening is that gear isn't coming back, yeah, that gear isn't retracting so I might just see if I can put a bit of oil in there or have a look at what those books I photocopied and see if there's anything in those books that might help explain how to fix that.